Hi guys, it's Ivy. Today we're recording outside, so I'm sorry for the noise. Um, we are also doing uh, propagating via cuttings. So what you need is a plant that you can trim pieces off of that's growing really well. Um, some blade, uh, scissors, these things, I don't know, I think got them at the dollar store. Um, a knife, something. You want to clean them with rubbing alcohol often, if not in between every plant that you cut. You don't want to pass any diseases to one plant from another. Um, and then you need a jar of water to stick them in. Um, so why I am cutting and propagating my variegated Maranta here is because it's getting really leggy. This is real tall and there's not much going on at the bottom here, but there's a lot growing out at the top. Um, it is growing a whole bunch here um, from the first time that I propagated it, um, which is what I want it to do. Um, if it's getting really um, leggy, it's not as bushy as it used to be, you can trim off some pieces at the top, um, re-propagate them back into the soil, um, and it should push out more here because it's not um, using as much energy to push out new leaves from the top, it's using more of it to push it out from the bottom. Um, I also want another one of these because they're really pretty and I really like the purple variegated pieces of it, not the trucks that are going by. So I will show you where to cut. <clears throat> so on these Maranta plants, they have elbows. Um, you can see one real good here. That right there is where the roots will come out of. Um, I'm not going to cut it that far down just because that's a very big piece of the plant. I'm going to cut it up here. So if you could pull back, so this is just an old sheath from the new growth. Pull that off. So it has elbow here and it has elbow up here. I'm going to cut it here because that is more defined. Um, up here there's less of a chance for it to survive in the water. Um, and it's popped out so much and I love it so much. So I'm going to use my blade and cut it right below that node right here. I'm trying to see if you can Sorry, it's so shaky. So the node right here, I'm gonna cut it right below it. So just like that. So the roots will grow out of this little nub right here. I'm gonna put that in my water. And it's still a little leggy and it's a little naked right now, but it's pushing out so much out of the bottom and there's another piece popping out here. So that should fill in um, a lot. Uh, and it usually, so it is actually growing another, I don't know if you can see that, there's a purple node right there without breaking it off, right there. That's another one of these pieces that's gonna pop out. Um, so that'll fill right back in. And I will fertilize that to give it a little energy and food. So that one is nice, and you want to cover the, the node in the water. So I have the water up to here, and the node, I don't know if you can see that, there you go, is in the water. If you go too far down, it will rot the stems, and you, you live and learn, you lose some. Um, so I have another Maranta plant here. This is just the normal um, green, regular kind. It is pushing out some purple, I think that's, pretty normal but the leaves are turning purple here I don't know if that's something in my water in my soil it's kind of cool though <clears throat> so this one here is growing some roots already out of some aerial uh, roots out of the side here he's gonna try to stretch his roots down into the soil to get more nutrients because there's so many in here so I'm just gonna chop that off He's growing some out of the bottom, so I'm not too worried about that. Right at the node. And then I'm gonna plop that in the water. And not too deep. Let's see if there's another piece I wanna do. <laughs> this one here is a little naked, so I might come back and cut it. I don't think I will. Um, 
he only has another leaf down here so I don't want to chop off the top right at the moment just because everything's still growing it's still pretty small so I'm gonna leave this guy the way it is he's falling out of his pot over here push you back in there but he is also growing so many more out of the bottom um, I propagated him probably two or three weeks ago um, some off the top and he's loving that I trimmed him <laughs> so next is oh it's very dry my Brazil philodendron the leaves are a little dirty right now just because he's on a top shelf in my bedroom <clears throat> I don't take him down very often um, he is growing out some new growth out of the soil pretty small right now but I don't know if you can see that there's a little one right there and there's another bigger one right here um, so with these, they have aerial roots uh, more often than the Maranta plants. Um, and they sometimes shrivel up and fall off and they get crunchy. Um, so you want to find a nice healthy one. Let's see if we can find a good one. This is a little bare, so I don't, I wasn't sure if I was going to propagate off this guy. Yeah, I might as well. He's grown pretty good since the winter. So, right here, there's a good aerial root on the bottom underneath that crunchy one. So there is a crunchy one next to it. You pull them right off. But right there, there's a thicker one. That leaf is in the way. <laughs> um, so I'm going to cut him right below that node. The nodes right here with oh it's got two nice roots on it okay we'll pull off the crunchy one so we're gonna cut him right below that there you go there's some of the nodes here and those will turn into nice white healthy roots um, I am going to pull off this leaf here just because this is gonna rot anyways because this is gonna be in water so I'm gonna pull off that leaf so possibly this one will root too I'm not sure because they are a little dry and crunchy I'll plop that in the water move you off to the side and then I have my heart leaf philodendron which is actually from my first video I made um, this is the one that I repotted into this beautiful uh, terracotta pot um, they grow these leaves out of sheaths too so they get these crunchy things that you just pull off um, if you want to some of them some people like them so I'm trying to find a good node to cut off of this one's growing really well I'm gonna keep that on there because I want it to trail and it is really bushy here that doesn't have any leaves on it Oop. this one might survive let's see you want to pick a healthy stem and you don't want to cut the last the last leaf off um, so here this would be the last leaf if I cut this one off this would be the last leaf here and there's a node there and a node down here but it will kill the stem most likely um, kill the stem and that piece of it will die and this may or may not grow so you don't want to cut off any piece that will damage the plant too hard um, man. All right, so this guy might not have any ooh, good growth to cut off of, but I do have a piece of it um, already propagating from another one that I have. So where you would cut on this is the same as the Brazil philodendron, um, right by that node there. And then you would pull off this leaf, you'd cut right here, stick that in water. So right here and right here would have access to water. I'm going to let him grow a little bit better before I cut anything off of him. And now I'm going to make space for my big girl. Okay. So, my golden pothos. I just repotted her. I was going to wait to propagate stuff off of her, but I'm going to do it now. <laughs> so, with some plants you will see um, more 
barky looking, um, like tree bark. Some plants have like really thick. These are the original stems. You don't want to cut this off because it will damage the plant more than anything. So you want to find something growing off of that. And just a leaf will probably not propagate, probably won't grow any roots. Um, so you want to find a good one that is coming down off of the old branch. So here's a good one. This right here is coming, let's see if I can shake all these legs off, not break anything off. <clears throat> okay, so this is all tangled. Get out of there. This is an original stem, and then it's growing here from where I probably propagated that. Uh, I have so many of these propagations that I've pulled off. Um, and because of the variegation on these leaves, um, when you propagate and cut things off, they might revert back to the normal, just green pothos. So these two leaves down here have already done that. So that's all right. It might pop out a variegated, but more than likely not. Um, it has all of these aerial roots on it. There is four, five, some of them in there, in the dead sheep. So you want to cut underneath a node and you want maybe more than one, especially with a pothos. So here's a node here, node here, here, and then up here. So I'm going to cut in between here because I don't want to do too close. Okay. And that will grow out another stem from here. I'm actually going to cut off this half dead one. I was going to let it go, but it's looking a little gross. Put that in the yard. So, where did it go? <laughs> Just cut off. Here it is. <laughs> okay. So it's got a couple nodes here, and you're going to want to put those in water. Um, if you get a really, really long one that you cut off and it's really long stem and it has a lot of nodes on it, you can cut per leaf per node. So let me see if I can show you, get that bad boy in there. Okay. So see, she's not doing too great. So. Let's see. All right, here's a good one. Of course, it's tangled up too. Let go. All right. Move all your legs. So this one here has a few nodes per leaf. So if I were to cut this off, which I'm not, um, but if I were, there's a node here underneath this leaf, and there's a node here underneath this leaf, and so on and so forth. So if I were to cut this off down at the base here, this node would soak up nutrients and water for this leaf. So that is more likely to survive if you just put a stem in there with a node in it. I've had it happen, but it's very, it's not common for it to grow from just a stem. You can try it, but the leaves really soak up the, um, uh, sunlight and everything it needs that the roots don't give it so you would cut move your leaves you would cut here for this leaf right in between these two for that leaf and then right in between these two for this leaf and then this guy you could probably cut down here and stick that whole thing in there and every node here will grow roots um, there's that on the pothos and the truck going by. So I want to show you some of my already cut clippings. This is um, an aglionemia. Um, my mother plant, I think, is dead. Um, <clears throat> so I'm really glad I saved her from the death that the mother plant endured so she's got a little bit of soggy 
stem, but that's all right. It's not too bad. So this is growing in water. She will pop out roots from that node here and probably from the bottom. Um, I did put some uh, root hormone in. I kind of poked her in the powdered root hormone and put her in the water. So that's in the water. And I try to change the water every so often. Not a lot. <laughs> um, you should try to change the water once a week um, to make sure that the airflow is in there and the water doesn't get stagnant and gross and icky. Um, so with her, I haven't really changed her water in probably two or three weeks. So I'll probably do that today. Um, here is some more. This is a Scandapsis, Scandapsis pictus silver cloud. Um, it's kind of like a philodendron in that family, but it grows a little bit different. It's really pretty. So this was um, a cutting from a plant that I had gotten a bunch of cuttings in one pot. This guy wasn't doing too great, so I pulled him out, put him in water, and he's growing. These are all, uh, that's all dirt from <laughs> the pot. But the white, the new white roots, that's what you wanna see. And I'm gonna wait for that white root to get about probably double that size two inches to three inches long um, before I put him back in soil just so he has a better chance of survival and then this is from a heart leaf philodendron this is the one that I was talking about um, she wasn't doing too great um, she wasn't growing at all in there and she's got a little bit of soggy I'm just gonna cut that off that soggy piece <clears throat> okay, so that soggy piece will happen. Um, just keep cutting it back. Try not to cut off the nodes, but there's two spaces for nodes. So if this does happen to rot, I can cut it off and this will be just enough. So she's growing a leaf from in the water. So there's a node here, two nodes here, and then four nodes and a leaf growing out. So I'm really hoping she survives. She only has one leaf. One of them fell off, um, and I think this might, might have been a stem that broke off. Um, she's growing a new leaf up here too. That's nice. Okay, so I'll stick her back in there. And then some of my Maranta plants, I just trimmed off because the leaves are obviously not looking their best. And I cut them off, and then I noticed that they have the elbows where I cut them. So I wanna see if they all grow roots out of here. And this will be just kind of like the main leaf and then I can just chop off these as soon as it's starting to grow out some babies um, this is I've done this probably 50% of the time where I've cut off old leaves that didn't look great and then half of them do grow half of them just die off um, like this probably isn't the best for a Miranda plant for survival um, because it's, it's got a dying leaf trying to give the plant as much as it can. Um, but here's the elbow here. And this is how they move too. They, the sun and the water, they fill up and everything and they move. It's really cool. Um, so that has an elbow here. Put that back in the shot glass. And an elbow here. So that hopefully will grow roots. This one looks a little healthier than the other one. Um, and I'm hoping this one will survive just because I only have one very small plant of that um, Calathea Maranta, whichever one it is. And that is it for all of my clippings on my plants so far. I have some that are growing that I want to wait for them to grow. Um, so thank you for watching. Bye.